Hey, I still recall the day the doctor told me that I was sick, yeah, my mind keeps going back It was a trip, like I was thinking he ain't know the facts Brandon Chris Linux live here with the review on Fusion Linux 14.1 Um, this release, I'm just gonna read some some notes for a minute and then I get into the actual OS and VirtualBox um, so Fusion Linux is a Fedora remix that includes all the best software that is available for Linux. Fusion uses a combination of free and open source, non-free and non-open source firmware and software to bring the user the most advanced experience on the Linux platform. Fusion Linux is an installable live image that includes multimedia functionality out of the box with added desktop tweaks for better usability and additional software. It also gives the user, the user the option to install the operating system to the hard drive for a much better user experience. It is 100% compatible with Fedora. Um, it's a Fedora remix, like I said, including packages for Fedora and RPM Fusion software repositories, plus some custom packages. Um, as far as my features and highlights go, they have a brand new custom made theme. Um, Skype has been removed so Fusion Linux can be freely redistributed. Multimedia support out of the box, um, which include Flash, MP3, and other types of playbacks. Better hardware compatibility for barber and wireless cards, and a better game selection. As far as desktop highlights go, I have down they new. I mean, they now have um, the Linux Mint menu which is awesome I'm even thinking about installing Linux Mint menu in Ubuntu um, they have Doc Bar X they have known do or do or whatever it is and they have Compass Fusion as far as software highlights go they have Chromium pre-installed Firefox 4.0 which is now can be updated to um, 5.0 they have Thunderbird pre-installed, and the oh, then the, the Open Office has been replaced by LibreOffice, which is just a fork off of Open Office. For those who are wondering, um, K3B, which is the best CD slash DVD and Blu-ray burning application. Yes, Lord, it is the best. GIMP 2.7 Beta is pre-installed. Inkscape and Blender. Dropbox, um, which is a online backup and file sync application. Team Vero, for those who do not know, is a multi-platform remote desktop application that is excellent. It can be used in all three Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. Um, they have uh, F-Shots, which I hate with a passion. Um, as far as the interface go, I wish they would install Shotwell Photo Manager, which I love. Um, Banshee Media Player, Handbrake. Play on Linux for playing your um, Windows games and application. Mario or Mario or whatever it is. Um, it's a free and open TV um, internet application. Um, G Parted, which is a partitioning um, you know interface where you can partition your hard drives and disk. Fedora Plus. Gwibber, which is for Twitter and Facebook and other types of applications that you can, it's a really just a client for social networks, which I love and use. Um, and I also have a video on, on my channel that shows you how to set up your Facebook and Twitter. Go and check that video out. And as far as desktop tweets go, Nautilus browser mode is by default, and clicking via touchpad by default is also now available. Um, let's get into the OS now. You do have, if you haven't installed it to the hard drive yet, you have computer examples and hard drive to install right here. I do hate that they do not have a trash can on the actual desktop, but I did not create this OS, so, but actually I can create this OS because I can alter it and change it however I want it. That's one freedom we have with Linux. Um, so let's go to the, me the menu. Um, like I said before, we do have the Mint menu here. Um, let's go to All Applications, go to Accessories. I'm just going to name a few stuff down the line. I'm not going to name everything. Um, calculator, Dictionary, um, Gnome Do, um, blah, blah, blah. Shutter is for, it's a great application for taking screenshots and also editing screenshots. doesn't give you many options of editing, but it does take nice screenshots. Um, 
education, some stuff I've never used. They do, like I said before, give you more um, more of a selection as games is pre-installed. Uh, graphics, we have Blender. Oops. We have Blender, F-Shot, uh, GIMP. We have Inkscape, My Paint, uh, Simple Scan, and some more stuff. Internet, we have Chromium, Dropbox, Empathy, Firefox 4, like I said before, you need to upgrade to 5, Giver, and some other stuff like Team Vera 6, and Thunderbird, Transmission, and XChat. Office, we have the whole suite of LibreOffice 3.3. Um, on the sound and video, we have Audacity, um, Banshee, Cheese, Gnome, and Player, um, Record My Desktop, Handbrake, K3B, and VLC in Pick the Video Editor, which has gotten better because of the video and sound effects they now have installed on there. Um, this is System Tools. You can scroll down and get all your System Tools there. Wine is basically for running your Windows applications. Um, it runs most applications. I'm not going to say it runs everything. We can't run everything and probably never will be able to run everything. Administration, yeah, the only thing I see to add or remove software is add or remove software right here. So you probably have to use that as far as removing and adding your software. Um, preferences, just to make your desktop and everything look sweet and nice and to work perfectly. You can go right here and manage everything. So, yeah, that's all I have in this OS. I'm going to go on the internet, use Chromium Web Browser to show you where you can go and download it at. So, this takes me right to their website, but you will have to go to FusionLinux.org. That is F-U-S-I-O-N-L-I-N-U-X.org, O-R-G. Um, once you get to the website, you need to click the tab that says Download. I'm going to show you visually, but for some reason, the internet is taking a while to come up. Yeah, it's taking forever. Okay. Any day now. Any day now. Let's refresh this. Okay, here we go. You go to downloads here. And uh, you wait. Or you might not have to wait because I have to wait. Um, do not download the older version unless you want it. Um, that is Fusion Linux 4.0. Um, do not, not re download this release candidate of this version 14.1 release candidate but download this one at the top the Fusion Linux 14.1 this is the final release here um, it says it released July the 1st but it was actually released July the 2nd um, they need to change that um, for as the torrent go you can download it right here if you want the direct downloads it gives you two options here that's all I have on this OS. If you have any questions, comment below. Inbox me and like this video. And see you later. So I just kept falling short over and over and over again. There really was nothing I could do. It was not looking good for me.